Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn about bubble sort. Bubble sort algorithm is also called as sinking sort or comparison sort. The algorithm is named so as the smaller values which are lighter gradually bubble up to the top of the list and larger values which are heavier gradually sink to the bottom of the list. Now there are many other sorting algorithms like quick sort, tim sort or merge sort which are actually more popular and efficient. Bubble sort is actually very inefficient and takes a long time when data set is large. So it is actually not used in real world and is only taught for educational purposes. Now the definition of bubble sort is that it works by repeatedly comparing adjacent elements and swapping them if they are in the wrong order. What does it mean? Let's see by taking an example list of unsorted numbers. So the algorithm starts from the top and compares the first element with the second. Since 6 is smaller, it swaps the two elements. It then checks the second and the third element. Second is smaller, so it does not do anything and moves to check the next two. Again 8 is smaller, so it moves 8 up and 23 moves down. Then 14 is smaller, so it swaps and 23 moves down. Next again 2 is smaller, so it bubbles up and 23 moves down. This is called as one complete pass. Some key points which you should note here is that it can compare and swap adjacent numbers only. Second is that if you have 6 elements to compare, you actually need to do only 5 comparisons. The second last number you compare with last and then you do not compare the last number with anything. So if you have n numbers, you need to do n-1 comparisons. Third is that when we finish the pass, the heaviest element moves down to the last or correct position. For the next pass, you can actually ignore it. So for our next pass or round of comparisons, we will check only first 5 numbers, means we will do 4 comparisons. We will start from the beginning again, program will compare 6 with 11, 6 is smaller, so nothing needs to be done. Then it compares 11 with 8, 8 is smaller, so it moves up and 11 moves down. Then 11 is compared with 14, 11 is smaller, so nothing needs to be done. Next 14 is compared with 2 and 2 moves up and 14 moves down. Now we stop here and you see that in this pass we have got the second highest number in place. So in next pass we need to compare the first 4 numbers only. The algorithm again starts from the beginning. 6 is compared with 8. 6 is again smaller so no change. Then 8 is compared with 11, again no change. Next 11 is compared with 2. Since 2 is smaller, 2 moves up and 11 moves down. Now in the next pass, we only take first 3 numbers, so we will do only 2 comparisons. 6 is compared with 8 and there is no change. Then 8 is compared with 2 and since 2 is smaller, we swap the values. In the last pass, we have two numbers to compare and since 2 is smaller, we move it up. So as you see, in every pass, you actually push the biggest value down and slowly the smallest value bubbles up. The next point to note here is that we had 6 numbers and it required us 5 passes to get it sorted. So if we have n numbers, we will need n minus 1 passes to get it sorted. Now let's see how we will write the pseudocode for it. First we will take an array or list of size n in variable list. When we look at our example, we saw that if you have n elements, then you will run n minus 1 passes on it. So this will be our first loop for i from 0 to n minus 1. This loop will run all our passes. Note that we are starting from index 0, 
so we have used end as less than n minus 1. Now for each pass you compare adjacent elements. You saw in first pass you need to do 5 comparisons, second pass 4, third pass 3, then 2 and then 1. So basically every time you are doing the comparisons 6 minus the pass number. This will be our nested loop where we will run our loop from j is equal to 0 to j less than n minus 1 minus i times as variable i holds our current running pass number. Now we will compare the adjacent elements and if the element is greater than adjacent element then we swap. If not then we move to comparing the next two elements. Now let's convert the pseudo code to java code. I am assuming we are getting the array as a function parameter but you can write the main and take it from user as well. So we will write the first loop which will run from 0 to n minus 1 and the second loop from 0 to n minus 1 minus i. Within the loop we will have the if statement to compare adjacent elements. If top element is greater then we use a temp variable to swap the values. This process is repeated for complete pass and after n minus 1 passes we have the sorted array. I hope you were able to understand bubble sort. If you still have any doubts you can reach out to us at simplycoding.in. Thank you and goodbye.